Glad to be again, here again on God's Healer 7. As most of you are aware, I put up an update on Barbara's condition on Thursday, November 12th. Her progress has been painfully slow with frequent setbacks. In a couple of weeks, the family will be meeting with her doctors for their prognosis on Barbara's condition going forward. As we all know, her health and well-being is in God's hands because He is the great physician. I want to talk a little bit about the word that I'm going to be putting up. I received it today, which is November 14th, 2015. First of all, I want you to know that I'm a nobody. I'm just an instrument that God uses to do His bidding. No more, no less. I try not to be distracted by what is going on around me, and I believe that this distraction takes away from the focus and what is really important. So we're going to go into Matthew, King James Version, chapter 24, verses 5 to 14. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you. And you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations. And then the end will come. So again, I got this word on Saturday, November 14, 2015. Shall innocence not reveal the tears of truth? For today, it is destiny's time in the sun. Speak now, son of man, for it is the appointed time. Speak of the time of darkness. Speak of its season. Has it not been foretold by the prophets? Time has proven to be an obedient servant. Look around, son of man. Has this generation not succumbed to evil? I have chosen thee to be a beacon of light in this darkness. You shall proclaim my glory. I shall strengthen thee to do my good works. They shall try to kill you for you speak of the light, but they shall not succeed. Speak boldly now, son of man, speak of the gathering, for the tally is almost complete. Look for the, the signs, for they are all around you. Many shall be persecuted in my name, the false prophets are as numerous as the stars in the sky. This generation has become indifferent to evil, and their hearts have grown cold to me. The tempest brews, and soon I shall strike down this wicked people, and all shall bend their knee and witness the power of the Lord. Amen. So again, as Barbara would say, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, 
and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I am announcing the glorious kingdom and all his majesty from September 24, 2015 to April 26, April 6, I'm sorry, 2019. Also, as you are aware, we are in the time of darkness. Amen. Shalom.